Jim Zedrike of Big Ben. Jim, I bet Alan Kepard had a chance to run over to his sponsor, but he's racing equipment and buy some pieces to put the number seven automobile back together. He took a pretty hard hit into the main straightaway wall in the heat race. Knock the right front out of alignment. Again, no fenders in the front, so we'll see the open wheel action return here to Hales. Let's see if anyone can break the lock that Jim Zedrike has on this field. Off of turn number four, Marty Marfoot Modifieds, ready to go. Grask will have to make quick work on the outside to make sure if that outside groove will last. Levas held out Pat Kondrowski and his sportsman made by staying low. Chris Carlson underneath Rick Scheffler right now for the third spot as they continue as if on a parade lap. Grask stays even with Haney. 13 Londo goes into the infield momentarily. Still a side-by-side -side duel. Grask, the veteran, on the outside. Haney, first time in these kind of cars on the inside, battle it out for the lead into turn three. Twenty lap headliner underway with Haney and Grask still side by side. Grask able to hold off just enough on the outside. Now Haney bobbles in turn number two up the back straightaway goes the blue and white number 78 of Joe Grask Sr. 71 Chris Carlson unable to advance past Rick Scheffler. Scheffler now in the white, blue, and white number 10. Running third. Joe Glass now takes command of the Mighty Morphin modified feature. Pat Haney now having his hands full. Put the down to Melbourne Homes number 10 of Rick Scheffler. Off of the fourth turn now. It's a three car length advantage and Crest goes low. Grask Sr. tied for fourth in the points with Sean Yeager. Now takes command of the event. Heading into this action tonight, he was tied for fourth in points. He now runs up top in second. Is it Pat Haney on the infield or is it Rick Scheffler? The battle now for number two position. Suburban Drywall is sponsor in car number 10. Rick Scheffler is trying to go on the outside of Pat Haney. Haney keeps it cool to the bottom. The battle rages on into turn number three now in the third mile clay oval. Haney on the inside, Sheffield on the outside, and look how they're still locked up for the fourth spot. Chris Carlson on the inside. Sean Yeager, the Sheboygan Yamaha number 17 on the outside. Here comes the six of Jim Zedroik. Zedroik now backs off the gas pedal as he's content right now in the, for the time being in sixth position, ready to capitalize, but all for not so far. Joe Grest Sr., the driver to watch. Close one. Now Rick Shuffler goes around the outside of Pat Haney. He tucks down on the inside of turn number two. We'll see if Rick Shuffler can close, close the five car length gap up the back stretch. Alan Kepper continues at a lower rate of speed in the car number seven up the front stretch. The leaders off of turn number four, Joe Gresk Sr., Rick Shuffler, Pat Haney, Chris Carlson, and Jim Zedroik. Zedroik now into the top five. Grest continues to build a lead now as Rick Sheffler has his hands full. Pat Haney runs second, single file now. Off a of turn number four, Grest continues a very methodical pace on the inside line. Carter is Rick Sheffler. He's solidly into second. Chris Carlson now having to go high. Jim Zedroik powers down low. It's a drag race down the back stretch. The white number six of Zedroik. The yellow 71 of Carlson. The battle for fourth. Into turn number three now at 10 laps complete. It's the Droik and Carlson, 10 laps in. Jim making observations. The Droik has to be the most patient modified driver I've ever seen. He had sort of a rough house type of, uh, reputation in the sports because, but he picks them off one at a time so methodically it's unbelievable. He's down to the inside of the front stretch out about driver the white number six, Jim Zedroik. Pat Haney now skates up in turn number one. Zedroik closes now. Haney's in third. Zedroik wants the third spot. Haney off the back stretch. A little bit of tire smoke. Down in the turn number three, Zedroik at the bottom. He's eating them up. Joe Grest, the race leader across the start finish line, a complete lap number 12. Rick Scheffler in second, in third, convincingly now, is Jim Zedroik. He started at the rear of the field. He's made his way up to third. 
Half a straightaway the advantage enjoyed by the 78 of Joe Gresk Sr. Now Jim Zedroyk sets his sight on the backside of Rick Scheffler. Off of turn number four now. Zedroyk closes within a length. Pat Haney's attempt to the outside line is not working as he's drifting back. Chris Carlson and now Sean Yeager. Battle with Haney, the pole sitter. Joe Gresk Sr. took command on lap two. He continues to pace the field off of the fourth turn. You can hear him burp at the throttle. Now he gets on the gas. Five and a half laps left for Joe Gresk Sr. of Caledonia. Three-time sportsman champion. It's a uh, second place battle again. Up to Baxter style. Rick Sheffler using more of the racetrack. Jim Zedroy closing in the Kate Holmes number six. Off of turn number four, their nose to tail now. Can Zedroy do it this time by? Pat Haney has now battled back around Chris Carlson for fourth. And now Zedroy goes high. He's looking at the outside of Rick Scheffler. Down the back straightaway. Won't do it this time, but Zedroy is on the outside again. Here they go for second. Zedroy trying to use the outside, use the middle of the racetrack. Jim Zedroy scored second that time by. Laps are closing in. Joe Gress Sr. Looking for his first feature victory of the season. Jim Zedroy trying to go for his third in a row. Can he do it? He's now got second spot away from Rick Sheffler passing on the outside. He knows he can pass in the middle top of the groove. Let's we'll see if he can chase down our race leader, Joe Gress Sr. in the closing laps. Two and a half circuits remain for Joe Gresk Sr. In second is Jim Zedroik. Third is Rick Scheffler. Fourth is Pat Haney. In fifth is the yellow 71 of Chris Carlson. A good battle there is now Sean Yeager. Gives up the ghost on the inside line and goes wide. He now tries to get around Carlson and spins in the infield. Sean Yeager lights him up off of turn number four. Now pulls out in front of Keppert and the 13 of Alondo. He continues on as they remain on the green. 53, Steve Nicholas is continuing on lead lap with the white flag down displayed for Joe Gresk Sr. Able to maintain his edge over point leader, Jim Zedroy. Third is Rick Scheffler and Rick hanging out of that third spot and fourth is Pat Haney. Haney tried the upper groove, didn't work. He came back down to the bottom and now runs fourth in his first ever Mighty Mark Fun modified feature. Off the fourth turn, back in victory lane in a feature event, Joe Gresk Sr. Second to Jim Zedroy, third. We'll go to Rick Sheffler, fourth to Pat Haney. Fifth to be Chris Carlson. Here's the battle for six off that final turn. Sean Yeager able to regain position. That'll be Jim Londo. Londo with fifth. Yeager with sixth. Steve Nicholas, seventh. And Alan Keppert will bring up the field. But what a great run. Joe Gress, senior, took the lead away from pole sitter Pat Haney. Sucked it down to the bottom. Jim Zedroik powered back through the entire field to run second, but the victory will go to Joe Gresk Sr.